We darn near celebrated when the kid got back, didn't we? Zolf never thought he'd see a fellow her again. We darn near celebrated when the kid got back. We become we? fast friends. Calamity has that effect on people. But there was more to be done. There was one last core to find. Kid's surprised when I tell him there's only one core left. I shouldn't have believed it either. Most of the era never got a taste of Ceylandia's fine goods. Unless they were born and raised in the city like Zia here. Girl tried to run away from home one time. But the marshals stopped that, didn't they? So many secrets in there and she can't even read it. Her father's own journal. Sure, the world's all gone to pieces farther than the eye can see. But leave it to this gal to point out the amazing view. If only I'd known half the secrets of the Calamity were tucked away in that book. I'd have worked to translate it right away. A scientific journal written in Zolf's native tongue. He learned so much from it. Too much. The Gravers. They arm a justice. They seemed unstoppable. The gods never liked competing for people's affections. We tracked the final core beyond the city to the wilds. You want to tune a scrap musket, you start with the barrel. The wild unknown. Place can eat a man alive. Place is so raw, even the calamity couldn't cook it. Not all of it. Know what's better than having a slinger pistol in a fight? Having two. Savage things lurking at every turn. Kiss faster in a slinger with those guns. Pin cushions ain't the worst of it either.
They shouldn't have let the guard down. Getting that core was one thing. Getting out's gonna be another. He digs his way out of the clearing, but the wilds won't let him go without a fight. Wallflowers survive the calamity. It toughened him up. Same goes for the kid. Best take it real slow when pin cushions are afoot. By now, kids got more needles in them than a stab with. Slinger Jawson's old outpost is all that's left of him. Kid sticks to his old standbys. Kids roused up half the wilds by now. Then <laughs> Kid gets the feeling he's being watched. Not by me, by a lunkhead. And lunkheads ain't fond of two-legged animals. Hit him anywhere but the hindquarters and he only make him mad. Sees a smooth black stone coughed up by the calamity. Be seeing plenty more. The wilds drag him down.
wild green vine apples about the only good thing out here. Wilds already reclaimed this place. Pow! Gives a wallflower a taste of its own medicine. He's anxious to get back. After all, he's got the final core. His journey's over, right? Well, no. It ain't. Not by a long shot. Kid knows something's up when we ain't there to give a warm welcome. See, Zolf and I were just wrapping up a heated discussion. Zolf can barely muster the words. The calamity failed, he says, but I will not. And with that, Zolf leaves us here, alone. Zolf cursed the city, cursed the bastion, cursed me, said he was going home. When Zolf got through reading that journal, he just snapped. Started smashing up the monument till I tried to stop him. Zolf banged up the monument pretty bad. But there's a way to put it back together. The shards. We're gonna need all of them to nurse the bastion back to health. Takes a lot of moving pieces to make a dependable sidearm. Behold the Pantheon. All it takes is some fragments and the Bastion makes it good as new. Anything survives a musket shot ought to be quick work for that blade. The city brought the shards to the wilds. Now the kid's gonna bring them back.
Ever felt a soul wood gourd like picking up broken glass barehanded? At Zolwood Grove, marshals learn to make every shot count. The trick was to pop all those nasty gourds without wasting ammo. Had to catch a bunch of those gourds in a single shot. Funny thing about muskets is they work best up close. It took a keen eye, not an itchy trigger finger. Kid takes a little personal time for just him and his favorite musket. Plenty of gourds to go around, even now. Marshals like to fine tune their muskets to get better results. The orchard grew over so quick, the marshals made it worth clearing out. Marshals did more than just stand around shooting, of course. Turn them round and round all you like. Pith's still gonna be ugly. The marshals learned to pack those shells full of fire. After Zolf's little episode, Kid sets off in search of shards. First stop, Jawson Bog. You'll get lost in that bog, I told the kid, and I won't be able to guide you back. Well, I let him go. What else could I do? What could any of us do? Zolf put us in a real bind, hurt the bastion bad. But the shards can make it better. They're like smaller doses of the core's medicine. Shame the only place to fill that prescription is out here in the wilds. This place is intoxicating. Don't know where he's gone. Might be gone for good, for all I know. Ow. 
wherever he is. He's somewhere I've never been. Somewhere I never want to go. Survivor. No, ma'am. It's a lonesome ghost of a gas fella. <laughs> what do you say to a kid who's seen too much? Now the kids see something stranger still. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds... Peckers, lunkheads, wallflowers, pincushions, vine apples, swamp weeds, ankle gators. farther into the wild unknown. Kid sets foot inside one of Ceylandia's famous watering holes. The security is just gonna have to straighten them out. supposed to start at the beginning. It's so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world's all right, snoozing there on a rock in the sky. He wakes up. I'm just fooling. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. He sees what's left of Piff, the bull. The gods, they're all undone. 
He sees what's left of his lifelong friend. His friend, he's come undone too. Thought we'd lost him, but he finally comes to. The shard ain't lost either. Not anymore. Now to find a ticket out of this hole. Bootlickers dig their nasty thorns into his heels. Hard to get a sure footing in the bog. Ever heard of a lung blossom? It's bigger than the stories say. The breath on that thing, like a scumbag sprung a leak. can make you lose your mind. Well, the kid prunes it down the side somehow. Mother only knows what happened in the bog. Kid never much cared to speak of it. A shard is like a poor man's core, but beggars can't be choosers. That's it. A few more shards like that, and we'll be back in business. A single shard can breathe new life into this place. The shard's got enough juice to spruce up any of these places. Squirt cider will toughen you right up. Too bad about the musty aftertaste. The city tried to use the shards to stake out the wilds. 
So much for that plan. The city's unwanted things all met their end in the yard. Folks have fouled up will do their time here, smashing things to bits. The quicker they worked, the sooner they could go. Folks learn to plant their feet and put their backs into it. Others would plot a course to navigate that sea of junk. Had to work real fast for the finest prize. Ever want to just smash things for a while, you know where to go.